New Life UC. Thanks for joining. <clears throat> Hello on tonight for the Midnight Cry. Come on in. Hello on a replay. Going to be discussing pride tonight. I had um, I had got on earlier, and I had told um, told a few people that was on. I don't know if too many people watched the uh, the replay, but I said go ahead and um, email me so I can know what topic you want to discuss tonight. Just a servant. Thanks for joining. Come on in and share. Come on in and share. Lift up your hearts. Good to have you. Good to have you. We'll be discussing pride on tonight. Earlier, I, what I did was um, I was trying to do something a little different. I was going to open up the um, the midnight cry. What I was going to do is I was going to have people give me a topic. But considering people did not follow instructions, <laughs> um, I'm going to minister a different word <clears throat> on tonight. Thanks for joining. Thanks for y'all. Anyway, I'm going to do this tonight. Uh, I just want I want to discuss pride because pride is a, a, a sneaky spirit. Um, pride can slip in and you not even know. You know, you could be prideful and not even know you're prideful. This is what have people not being able to apologize. This is what got people not being able to say thank you. You know what I mean? It, this is what pride does. And, and, and what God did, he gave me revelation about pride. And what he showed me was... A lot of what we get pride from is from in our earlier years. A lot of this stuff is it being parted, you know what I mean? I mean, from when we were in our youth and when we were on the football teams and um, when when they uh, when the, the girls were cheerleaders and stuff like that, when you was a track star, when you was a basketball player, everything starts with a seed. And God began to show me this, how pride begins to grow. And what he did was he sent me a dream but he took me way back, I mean, back to my high school days when, you know, I used to be a real good dancer. And what he did was he took uh, he took what I used to enjoy back then and then made it, you know, made it look like, you know, what how I got exalted, how, how I started exalting myself and how I had a spirit of arrogancy and how nobody could tell me nothing. Well, I used to... Um, I used to sag. I used to um, wear a blue flag. You know, he, he gave me, he brought me back to where pride started. One thing you want to know, know something, if you go to the root, if you go to the root of the thing, you'll understand how this thing's begin to grow. This is just like how sin does. Sin starts off small, but it begins to manifest. It's the small voxes that spoil the vine, right? Follow me on this revelation. But he began to show me how how when people when we were track stars and we were football stars and we were exalted when we used to you know what I mean used to be the stars and the number one shot callers and the big ballers and different things right now God I ask you to break distraction in Jesus name and when when, when we were uh, when we were exalted when he exalted us when he had us in newspapers and different things like that. This is this is where that spirit first started from. And God had to take me all the way back to this root to show me how this thing first got started. Pride. Pride is a sneaky spirit. Pride can come in. You can be operating and be full of pride. A lot of people that say they that say they humble. They not humble. That's a false humility. And see, and another thing, what I also know, pride will have you justifying your sin. Pride will have you not been able to apologize. Pride would have you not been able to say thank you. You know what I mean? I think what God is looking for people in this season, He's looking for people that's not gonna not that's not gonna be prideful, that's not gonna boast. You know what I mean? If anything, you boast in the Lord. So I believe in this hour, this is an hour where we have to kill pride. We gotta cut things at the root. You know what I mean? Pride, lust, envy, all this stuff, it comes along with the flesh. And when God began to send me this revelation, how it all got started, 
how we begin to get lifted up with titles. When when we started offering up, uh, getting, receiving praise from people, you got to be careful. Some of y'all that operate in anointing, you know, some of you are anointed. Some of you are, are really good at what you do. Some of you have gifts, but you if you are not careful, you'll let pride exalt you. You'll be exalting yourself. As he says, God, he said, I resist the proud, but I give grace unto the humble, right? This Bible. And he says, uh, hum he said, humble yourself under the mighty hand of God and I'll exalt you in due time, right? Watch this. But see, one thing about pride, see, pride likes attention. Pride likes attention. And one thing about Satan, this is what Satan did. Satan wanted to exalt himself above God. He thought this, right? Well, catch this. He wanted to exalt himself above God. And this is what got Satan cast down. Pride, number one. Number two, what, what, what destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, it wasn't homosexuality. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't adultery. It wasn't none of that. It was pride. It was pride that was that destroyed them. But what is this about this sneaky spirit? Pride. Pride is a ruler spirit. Pride is a legion spirit. Like I was saying, pride to have you justifying sin. Pride to have some of y'all not uh, some of y'all not obeying instructions. You know what I mean? This is a, a pride to have y'all. You know what I mean? To where you can't submit, you can't obey to your leader. Pride to have you to where can't nobody tell you nothing. You know what I mean? That's what pride does. And see, many people are lifted up in the spirit and don't know they got pride. Many people walk in their spirit. Some of these, some of these people, they, they claim to be humble, but pride is a peacock. Just, I mean, just head stuck way up high, arrogant, got their nose up. One thing about it, you have to be careful on your way up. Them same people you was looking down at, you're going to see the same ones when you're coming down. So this is why I say you have to be humble in this season. Pride comes before fall. And I wanted to discuss this because many people, they get wrapped up in titles. One thing about me, I don't care about a title. You can call me Brother Travis. You can call me Minister Travis. When I come on here, I say Brother Travis. I don't, I mean, I'm, I'm a prophet by office. I'm not worried about a title. You know what I mean? God ordained me. Man didn't ordain me. But see, this is what happened when, when when we get lifted up in titles. All of a sudden, somebody got to call you bishop. All of a sudden, somebody got to call you an apostle. Now, we got to call you prophet and prophetess. God don't care nothing about your titles. You know, one thing about the um, the disciples, what they did was they said, Jesus, even the uh, demons submit to uh, submit to your name. He said, don't rejoice in that. Rejoice that your name is written in the book of life. One thing is sad to be prophesying, to be ministering, to be laying hands and still not making it into the kingdom of God. Only because you couldn't humble yourself and say, God, you know what? God is me standing in need of prayer. God, I'm messed up. I'm prideful. I'm boastful. I'm arrogant. These are the things that have caused the wrath of God to come upon us. It's not the world. It's not the it's not the world is the reason why God is sending destruction and judgment. It's because of the church. The church is messed up because the church is it trying to exalt themselves above, above God. You know what I mean? It's one thing about these titles. This is why I say some of you ministers, you have to be real careful when you try to exalt yourself and you try to exalt your ministry and you stepping out before God. Can't nobody tell you nothing. You know, they can't tell they can't tell you nothing. They got to ask you something. You know what I mean? Arrogant. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm looking at this stuff now where we got so many people caught up in pride. We got so many people lifted up. But one thing about this in this season, we have to be careful. This is why we cry out and say, God, if there's anything in me that shouldn't be, get it out. God, I I, I want to go to the next level on you, God. I don't want to exalt myself above you. God, kill, kill pride in me. Kill pride in me. Get this stuff out of me, God. I want to be one with you, Lord. I want to be connected to you, God. I want you more than anything. We have to learn to stay little in our own eyes. But what some of us are doing, we being puffed up. We've been puffed up because you, you got your little anointing because God's speaking to you. You know what I'm saying? You operate, you got your little ministry, you got your little business. And when people start giving you praise, you have to be careful because people will start exalting you and, and, and exalting your gift and exalting your anointing instead of exalting God, the giver of the gift. You know what I mean? From the Father of lights. You know what I mean? This is where the gift comes from.
But some of us, we like to receive prayer. We like to receive praise. You know what I mean? Because we operate and you can't impress God with your gift. Did you catch that? You can't impress God with your gift, a gift that he gave you. This is why I say we have to learn to be humble, y'all, in this season. Because one thing you also have to know, pride comes before fall. Pride comes before fall. So this is why I said we have to begin to get this stuff out of us. God, take us to the root of this thing so we can see it. Give us revelation so we can get anything out of us that's not of you. God, I ask you to destroy the yoke on me. Lord, I ask you to consume this flesh. God, I ask you to tabernacle, tabernacle me. Get rid of anything that's in me that shouldn't be. God, shine your light down from heaven and expose and reveal. This is what we have to begin to do in this season because pride is a sneaky spirit, y'all. There's so many people operating out of pride, caught up in titles and big names and want to be shot callers and big ballers. You know what I mean? Caught up in money. You know what I mean? And, and this is what's going on. This is what have you trying to justify your mess. This is what, what have you justifying why you lying and you cheating and you, you cheating on your husband, cheating on your wife. You know, this is what pride does when pride sneaks in. You know what I mean? And to have a husband, a wife and a husband arguing over petty stuff. You know what I'm saying? Have you trying to get the last word out of everything? Trying to get the last word out of every argument and try to justify why you mean and you're nasty. That's what pride does. And one thing I know, one thing about pride, when I realized pride was in me, I said, God, whatever it is, God, I said, God, please remove it. God, I don't want to be like this. God, I don't want to exalt myself above you. Lord, keep me humble in this season. How many are really uh, trying to stay little in their own eyes? What's going to mess some of us up when we try to exalt ourselves? He says, don't think, don't make yourself think that you're more than you are. Stop exalting yourself. Don't worry about a title. Don't worry about a platform. That's why he said, if you humble yourself under the mighty hand of God, I will exalt you in due time. So what makes us want to exalt ourselves? We want a name. We want money. We want to be out in front. One thing about somebody that's exalted in pride, they want to be seen. They want everybody to see them. They want everybody to see them with a microphone. You know, you always want to be in front. Don't ever want to be last. This is what pride does. It's a sneaky spirit. Pride can move in your life and you not know it's there. This is why we say, God, expose and reveal. God, I'm tired of being like this. God, I messed up. God, bring me to the root of this thing. And God has to bring you to the root so you can dismantle it. He has to bring you to the root so you can see what it is. So you can see what it is that's hindering you and growing in God. So you can see what it is that's stopping you from getting into that next level. We got to say, ask God to cut everything that's not of you, God. I ask you to, I ask you to loose, uh, loose your spirit upon me. I need your Holy Ghost. Begin to saturate me, kill pride, kill arrogance, and kill every bit of ambition. Some of us got so much ambition. We want to exalt ourselves. We want to step out before our time. Let God mold you. Let God make you. See, what, many of us are trying to step off the potter's wheel. You know what has you jumping out of process? Pride. Pride is what having you jumping out of process. Pride to have you jumping out before your time and then trying to exalt yourself and go this way and go that way. We have to learn to be obedient. And one thing about disobedience, disobedience comes through pride. When you start rejecting the word of God, when you start rejecting his knowledge, God said, if you reject me and my knowledge, I'll turn you over to a reprobate mind. Meaning you won't be able to hear God. You won't be able to feel God. This is why I say we have to begin to cast down pride in this season. One thing about this flesh, you got to begin to put this flesh under subjection. It's about high heights and deeper depths. If you want to go to that next level in God, stop exalting yourself. Stop trying to be seen. Stop trying to be number one. Stop trying to be in the front. Begin to cut yourself back and say, you know what, God, please, God, don't let me get caught up in pride. Don't let me get caught up in arrogancy. I ask you to kill lust in me. Kill everything in me that shouldn't be. Because I want to go to the next level. I'm tired of living like this. I'm tired of living in sin. You justify sin because you wrapped up in pride. That's what's going on with a lot of us. That's why some of us can't repent. Because we wrapped up in pride, you're still doing the same thing and trying to get a different result. You keep going back to the same old sugar daddy trying to get a different result. 
I'm prophetically speaking. Many of us are doing this. We justified. I said justifying while we messed up. Still speaking, as, uh, still speaking in tongues. Still nasty. Still prophesying. Messed up. Prideful. Operating out of the wrong spirit. This is the reason why I say I don't want to be up prophesying, operating, and this spirit is deep down in me. You can be full of pride and not even know it. This is why I say this is the sneaky spirit that will sneak in and have you exalting yourself above God. Above God. Have you taken praise from people when the praise should be going to God? God said, I won't share my glory with nobody. Why are you trying to exalt yourself? Why are you steady trying to be in front? See, I'm not getting no amens tonight. But that's okay. Because that let me know, listen, some of us need to get this stuff out of us. You justifying your mess. You know, steady fighting, backbiting, arguing, only because you prideful, can't submit. See, this is why we need conviction. This is how I know half of us don't have the Holy Ghost because we don't have no conviction. We don't have no cry. We can't repent. You know what I mean? We can't we can't just come forward and admit we wrong. We can't just apologize. One thing about it, I've seen relationships, 15, 20 years, uh, 20 year old relationships go down the drain only because one person couldn't apologize. These people done paid your bill and did good to you. You know what I mean? Now you can't apologize. You can't admit to what we do wrong. This is what pride does. Pride to have you justifying your sin. Pride to have you justifying walking back and forth by in the same house with people not speaking. Prideful, mad, mad over little petty stuff. You know what I'm saying? Going to bed on your wrath, going to bed angry. You know what I mean? Many of us are doing that and many people are dying like that, wrapped up in pride. Wrapped up in titles, wrapped up in money, trying to be seen, trying to be number one, trying to have our names up in lights. I don't care if I never have my names up in light. God, you can take the money, take the cars, take the wife, but don't take your Holy Spirit away from me. Lord, keep me humble in my own eyes. Keep me little. One thing about God, you don't want God to bring you low. You got to stay low and meek. You don't want God to humble you. Because it won't be a pretty thing. I'm just trying to help somebody on tonight. God, kill pride in us. Kill every ounce of ambition where we try to exalt ourselves and try to step out before you. Let us begin to wait on you. Shine your light down from heaven, Lord. If there's anything that's in us that shouldn't be, God asks you to get it out. Kill the spirit of pride. Kill this stuff in me. Because I want to go to the next level. I want to go deeper in God. How many of y'all want to go deeper in God? Begin to kill pride. Begin to kill pride. You don't have to step out to be seen. You don't have to exalt yourself. Stop receiving praise for people. You know what you say? It was nobody but the Lord. It was nobody but the Lord. You don't see too many people humble like that. You don't see too many people honoring God and giving honor to God. You know, who is the head of my life? You know what I mean? You don't see too many people doing that. People are boastful and arrogant. And this is the time we live in. And we got lovers of, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. And we coming into a season uh, of perfection. We coming into a season where God is raising up sons of God. God ain't raising up Christians. He's raising up sons of God. People that's not going to buckle on the pressure. Uh, give up on the struggle and throw in the towel. Over little petty stuff, over church hurt. You know what I'm saying? That's why we walking away from the church full of pride. Can't get down at the altar and say, God, listen, get rid of anything that's in me. Get rid of anything. I thank you for the persecution because it let me know that was still in my flesh that needed to come out. I thank you for the rejection, God. I thank you for being perplexed. I thank you for the backbiters. I thank you for the haters. Begin to, begin to confess before God. Begin to say, God, I thank you. Because, God, you're doing nothing but taking me to the next level. How many want to go to the next level on God? How many want to go to another dimension? We got to begin to kill everything that's not like God. Because I can't afford to miss my blessings. I can't afford to miss my breakthrough. I can't afford not to hear from God. I need God more than anything. But that's all right. If I, if I stand alone, I'll stand for God. I'm not worried about nothing. I'm not worried about a name. I'm not worried about a title. I'm not worried about a ministry. Guess what? I'm going to promote God's ministry. I'm going to promote Jesus. I'm not going to promote myself. Stay humble in this season. Stay humble before this season. I just want to encourage y'all on tonight. We got to kill pride.
So many of us are, are operating out of anointings. We operate out of gifts. Your gifts is going to make room for you. Don't you want to see God exalt you to another level and take you to another place? You got to begin to repent, begin to confess. I don't care who you confess to. Say, you know what, man of God, I got lust down in me. I got pride. I got envy. I'm wrapped up in my flesh. You know, I'm, my imaginations are wrong. You need God all in your thoughts. You need God in your mind. That's why he said, let this mind be in you. That's the Kobo Kosha Kandili. He said, let this mind be in you. That's also in Christ Jesus. We got to repent and submit to God, submit the leadership. Stop being rebellious. Pride got you being rebellious. Pride got you stepping outside of the word. And this is what we're dealing with in this season, dealing with a bunch of renegades. You know, everybody get offended over the word of God. Don't nobody want what's written. And when I minister, I minister from the word of God. I minister through the anointing of God, through the Holy Ghost. If you come and you get offended, that's good. That's good because you need that's something that needs to a change in you. Guess what? If your heart challenges you, that's a good thing because that's letting you know what you need to get out of you. But if you have no conviction, you have no cry. You know what I mean? You're not saying, you know, God, get rid of anything that sent me, God. God, I want to go to that next place. And you, God, I'm trying. I'm tired of justifying my mess. I'm tired of being nasty. I'm tired of being mean. I'm tired of backbiting. But I'm still operating. I'm still, I'm still on the usher board. I'm still on a praise team. People wrapped up in pride, all because of a microphone, all because you got your name on a program. Now you exalted. You see what I mean? Listen, this stuff is going on. And pride is sneaking in some of your lives. But I ask you right now tonight, listen, do you love God more than those things? Do you love God more than your husband? Do you love God more than your wife? Do you love God more than your bank account? If God is worth it all, you cut it off. You cut off pride. You know what I mean? Listen, we got to learn to get stay connected to God in this season and go to that next place. I just want to encourage you on tonight, y'all. Y'all be blessed. Look, y'all share this message.